They call all clean eating keto. Most of us have heard about a keto diet because we have either dabbled in it or know someone who has. But for those of you who don't know, a keto diet is a high fat, adequate protein and low carb diet. Though most diets feel restricting, this one is not. Here are 10 fast foods you can still eat on a keto diet. And let's face it, keto is everywhere. McDonald's Big Breakfast. Breakfast is most important meal of day. McDonald's was established in 1940 and has over 37,000 locations. Though this restaurant is popular and is known around the world, it is not really synonymous with dieting. Which is discouraging news for all the health-conscious McDonald's patrons out there. McDonald's and dieting in the same sentence? Who would have thought that that could be true? But it is. You can eat the McDonald's Big Breakfast on a keto diet, so long as you get it without the biscuit or hash browns. The keto diet is really big on eating the right fats and proteins and not eating carbs. Eggs fit that bill completely. Eggs contain less than one gram of carbohydrates, and depending on how it is cooked and seasoned, one egg comes to about six grams of protein. So the McDonald's breakfast options are a really good choice if you are on the keto diet. The McDonald's Big Breakfast is only 340 calories, 29 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and is a whopping 19 grams of protein. However, this meal only comes in at these nutritional values if you remove the biscuit or hash brown. After all, some sacrifices are necessary if we are looking to eat healthier. The biscuits and hash browns should actually just be considered pure evil on this diet because they are all carbs. Forget the carbs, but enjoy the eggs. Eggs are where it's at. I came here to do two things, eat eggs and nothing. Panera Bread Power Breakfast Bowl. <laughs> the next item on the list is a nice big breakfast bowl from Panera Bread with steak, two eggs, avocado, and tomato. Breakfast bowls are all the rage right now, so this is not only a good choice on the keto diet, it is also super trendy. If you get the right looking breakfast bowl, you can even take a snap of that sucker and put it up on your social media. Here's one millennial who has a parakeet with 9 million followers on Snapchat. The Panera Bread Power Breakfast Bowl is really great because it is full of protein and good fats. It is 230 calories and has 15 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. This bowl is also great because it has so many different flavors in it. The moist and tender steak pairs nicely with eggs, as it has done for years. Who here hasn't heard of steak and eggs? Then you have the very popular avocado on top of that, bringing you some good, healthy fats. Then tomatoes to bring in a little bit of acidity to the taste. Many keto diet recipe books suggest meals like this one. But at Panera Bread, you can get this while living your crazy, busy lifestyle. Don't be afraid to pop over or just order it on Uber Eats or something. A diet should never restrict you from working hard and eating on the run like everyone else. You do know that cellulite is one of the main ingredients in corn chowder. Chipotle Salad Bowl. Stop buying new underwear every time you eat Chipotle. This one is a yummy, keto-friendly option from Chipotle. The Chipotle Salad Bowl with steak, romaine, cheese, sour cream, and salsa has so many great ingredients you will forget you are on a diet. This bowl bowl is cool because it was actually created by the Chipotle team with all you keto dieters in mind. Chipotle has become so diet friendly over the past few years. They have embraced not only the keto diet, but also the paleo diet and the Whole30 diet. These diet food options are being marketed as lifestyle bowls, so you can feel like you are living the lifestyle you want at Chipotle. Nothing like feeling you can eat on the run and still be on diet. Be careful though, apparently some of these items are are only available online. So if you are planning on stepping into Chipotle and not ordering beforehand, you might have a problem. I'll be back. The good news is that Chipotle has embraced the diet trends so fiercely, it is surely only a matter of time before all their diet items end up on their glowing signs and can be ordered whenever and wherever. Now the last thing to bring up with Chipotle and the keto diet is the guacamole. Avocados are a must when on the keto diet. They help to control hypertension in the body and are low in saturated fats. Avocados are absent of sodium and cholesterol. Chipotle is jazzing up the avocado by serving it as a guacamole, so you can have the good keto diet-friendly food item as well as that yummy guac flavor. I'm gonna chop it off and cut it up and make some guacamole. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. And chicken nuggets over and out. 
Mac. These aren't just any chicken nuggets. These are the eight-piece grilled chicken nugget from Chick-fil-A. This order only costs $3.99. The nuggets are coated perfectly, and the chicken is moist and juicy. You should be aware, though, that this might not be as filling as, let's say, the bowls previously mentioned. Dude, have you had Chipotle? But that does not mean that this is a bad choice. Sometimes we're just looking for snacks, and we don't know what to have. Snacking is actually the most dangerous time when you are on a diet because most snacking foods are either carbs or veggies. Though veggies are always a healthy choice, if you are on the keto diet, they may not be within your carb allotment for the day. Vegetables are actually rich in carbs, believe it or not. When you are on this diet, the best veggies to be eating are leafy ones, like kale, spinach, or Swiss chard. Remember, the keto diet wants you to eat lots of protein. Chicken has protein. More specifically, the eight chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A have protein. The keto diet wants your body to be burning fat and to be burning it in a different way than if you were eating carbs. Meats are a good option, and the Chick-fil-A nuggets offer a good snacking option at a super reasonable price that fulfill the keto diet needs. Yeah, so what's the worst that could happen? In-N-Out Burger protein-style cheeseburger with onion. Is that onion? Onion and onion and ketchup. Now we know. Usually when you hear burger, you think of the quintessential side. Fries. And you may long for them. You may remember them well. But no, stay away. Fries are not for you. Fries are very bad if you are on the keto diet because of all those carbs. The fries are here to test you, and it is good you test yourself now because you need to have conviction when you step into that In-N-Out Burger joint. You will want to get whatever it is you used to order before taking on this diet. You might start thinking, What's the harm of taking a day off? But you must not give in. You must know that you are looking so fabulous and you are probably feeling a heck of a lot better too, right? So focus on just the burger. The scrumptious looking burgers you see at In-N-Out are totally safe to eat while on this diet and you can be sure of that. Just be sure to order your cheeseburger protein style. This burger is amazing because there is no bun, so you do not need to be worried about carbs and you can still enjoy a classic In-N-Out burger. Go ahead and step into what may feel like a trap of a location for dieters and show the world who's boss. Dieters are not restricted by any means. You can order the protein style cheeseburger with onion from In-N-Out and all will be well. This burger is also great because it has onions that ramp up the taste and fit in well with the lettuce wrap. Another super great thing is that you may not want to put ketchup on this burger because you are not eating it with a bun, but with lettuce. Ketchup is actually high in carbohydrates and therefore no good for keto diets. Just ask for no ketchup when you order this because even though this is a bunless option that works for keto dieters, the restaurant is not as on the up and up as Chipotle is when it comes to dieting, so they may not know about ketchup being high in carbs. As a matter of fact, I think I need more ketchup. Wendy's double stack cheeseburger, no bun. Hang on a second, something doesn't, something doesn't stack up quite right with this, all right? Here's a delicious no bun burger, lettuce wrap not included. This one is just no bun, there is no replacement. But if you ask for no bun or simply take the bun away yourself, you can eat this really great burger from Wendy's without any trouble. Also, major bonus, this burger is only one dollar. Can you believe it? It's not possible. Wendy's is offering you keto dieters something really special here. A fast food, affordable burger with meat that is signature to the chain and is never frozen. It comes with melted American cheese on top and crunchy dill pickle. There are onions and mustard on this burger as well. The double stack cheeseburger is also traditionally served with ketchup, so remember to tell them not to put it on. Once you remove the bun and the ketchup, this burger becomes 260 calories. It has 20 grams of fat and only one gram of carbs. It also is high in protein. There are 20 grams of protein in this order. Do not be afraid to go bunless. The keto diet is super popular, and the chances are that you are not the first person to request no bun. Eating with no bun and no ketchup will probably also allow you to taste the meat and the cheese more than before. You will have a new taste experience, and even if you allow yourself a bun one day, you may realize that you want to continue to eat the Wendy's double stack cheeseburger without a bun. You are giving yourself a new perspective that may just change your fast food life. How thrilling. Double what? Wendy's Baconator, no bun. Hasta la vista, baby. 
Wendy's is at it again, fulfilling all our taste buds' dreams. And this burger is topped with oh-so-addicting bacon. You don't need a bun getting in your way while you enjoy the Wendy's Baconator. In fact, there is a whole movement for this no-bun situation. Go ahead and do whatever kind of social media sharing you think necessary to be part of this hashtag no-bun community. And it is a community. Now cancel it! Okay, now put it back on. <laughs> there are so many people out there living a no-carb life. Go ahead and be vocal about this and find yourself some supporters. When dieting, there is nothing better than having a whole bunch of folks who truly understand you as a support system. Well, maybe being able to eat a burger is better than that. Not sure? Either way, finding other dieters is nice and healthy. Now, back to the deliciousness of the Baconator. It is delectable. It is incredible. It is a fast food burger like no other fast food burger. With only two carbs, this no bun, no ketchup burger will fill you up and still keep you right on track with your keto diet. Go get a Baconator, everyone, and some no bun friends to enjoy it with. That's what friends are for, right? Jimmy John's Italian Nightclub. Oh, traditional Italian food, and they deliver. For this entry, we will celebrate and honor the invention of the term unwitch. The unwitch was coined by Jimmy John's, a fast food chain that was founded in 1983. Jimmy John's has close to 3,000 locations across America. Keto dieters should really check this place out because they offer any sandwich as an unwitch. This gives you oh so many options. To make a sandwich an unwitch, they basically just remove the bread, which we all kind of could have guessed because the keto diet hates bread. What? You never had a bread sandwich from Pete's? While this may seem like a very minimal change to the sandwich, it is big enough to warrant a new term, unwitch. This is also special because, again, Jimmy John's offers all of their sandwiches as unwitches. They are a diet-friendly place, and who doesn't love that? The Italian nightclub is the unwitch that has made this list for a few reasons. Firstly, it has a lot of meat, so it is extra keto-friendly because of all the protein in the meat. And secondly, because the name is so cool. Italian nightclub. We like the name. Give this Unwitch a try because it is great for your keto diet and it has a super great name. What can I say? I'm cool, Rick! Yo! Popeye's Blackened Tenders. Best damn chicken in the state. Here's where things really get good. You do not have to sacrifice delicious Popeyes when you're on a keto diet. Hit up your local Popeyes and order yourself blackened tenders with no biscuit. You're not going to regret it. These suckers are so tasty. Who can resist something that is this good? I need that chicken, I can have it! The traditional serving is three tenders and a biscuit. However, we suggest you get two orders with no biscuits. Two orders gets you six tenders, which equals 226 grams of meat. This is a good amount of protein for keto dieters. Six tenders is also only four grams of carbohydrates. These tenders are spicy and so moist. Really, this is a suggestion for anyone, not just those honoring their keto diet. Treat yourself. Good, because I ate a bunch of chicken on the way over here. Double meat Whataburger. Mm -hmm. I bet some great burgers hang out there. <laughs> yeah. The top fast food to eat while on a keto diet is the double meat burger from Whataburger with double cheese, bacon, and jalapenos. And no bun. This burger is number one because of its high quality taste, its ability to fill a tummy right up, its affordability, its grab and go qualities, and most of all, the fact that it doesn't look or taste like a diet option. Weight loss science has come a long way since then. This burger is served on a takeout plate that you will most likely believe is its intended form. These guys are ready for the no bun option. Whataburger is known for their great food, and this burger is no exception. Enjoy being on your keto diet and eat all the fast food you want. There really are so many options. I went on the subway diet, you know, just like jot it. Stick around and tap on another one of our great videos. And for new viewers, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.